ask you just these couple of questions and you can respond by a D or a Okay? So Connor, will you take Ellie to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her? And forsaking all others, be faithful and truthful to her as long as you both shall live. I do. And Ellie, will you take Connor to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him? And forsaking all others, be faithful and truthful to him as long as you both shall live. Thank you. Connor, would you like to repeat after me? I take you, Ellie. I take you, Ellie. To be my wife. To be my wife. My best friend. My best friend. And my one true love. My one true love. Oh my I promise. I promise. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. In joy as well as sorrow. In joy as well as sorrow. I promise. I promise. To love you unconditionally. To love you unconditionally. And support you. And support you. To honour and respect you. To honour and respect you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And cry with you. And to cherish you. And to cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. Okay, Ellen, would you like to repeat after me? I take you, Connor. I take you, Connor. To be my husband. To be my husband. My best friend. My best friend. And my one true love. And my one true love. I promise. I promise. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. In joy as well as sorrow. In joy as well as sorrow. I promise. I promise. To love you unconditionally. To love you unconditionally. And support you. And support you. To honour and respect you. To honour and respect you. To laugh with you and cry with you. To laugh with you and cry with you. And to cherish you. And to cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Connor, in token of the faithfulness of these vows, we now give and put on the marriage ring, just repeating these words as well. I give this ring, I give this ring, as a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. And Ellie, in token of the faithfulness of these vows, we now give and put on the marriage ring again, just repeating these words. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. Well, for centuries, couples in Scotland have um, have been brought together by the use of hand fasting, and the ceremony has evolved and it's um, it's been adapted just by the many different kind of. Traditions and faiths our culture has. For me, it represents betrothal and the promises given. The elder in the villages would have listened to the couple's vows and promises just as I have listened to yours today. And symbolically, he'd take a vestment, he would take a, a garment of some sort, and then he would start to just, and he would binding them and he'd be holding them fast to the vows that they have just made. And the entwining and the circling of your hands also represents the circle of friends and family being drawn together closer as they seek to support you and help you as you go on as husband and wife. The elder would remind them that two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labour. For if they fall, one will lift up their companion. Again, if the two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? Till so one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. We stand together 
as a symbol of that threefold call. You as a man and you as a woman. Coming together as husband and wife and myself as the elder. Christ's representative, the conduit of blessing. And that he did walk upon them with these final words. Remember, in the life is a voyage that is homeward bound. As you travel life together, may God guide you on your way and bring you newfound joy in each other day by day. May your home be graced with peace and may your sharing know no bounds. May your friendship know full measure in this lifetime you have found. And as your closeness deepens, may each moment be the start of life lived hand in hand and love lived heart in heart. Well, in the presence of God and before these witnesses, Cora and Ellie have given their consent and have made marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring. I now therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Connor, you may now kiss your bride. Thank <laughs> you. 